everyone, how you doing today? My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for taking a couple minutes and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to be doing a review and giving you my first impressions of the Smartro ST54, which is a dual probe digital thermometer. Now, uh, they uh, contacted me through my YouTube channel, said they liked what I was doing on YouTube, and they sent me this complimentary if I could just give an honest review, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. Those of you who are familiar with my channel, you know, know that I do cooking and smoking videos, and usually when I'm doing them, I try to mention, you know, how long I've cooked something. You know, I got my smoker 240, 250, you know, two hours, three hours. Sometimes I forget. And I always get a lot of questions. People ask me, well, how long did uh, you cook that for? And this is the most basic thing when you're uh, doing cooking, specifically when you're on a, a barbecue grill or a smoker of some sort, because each one uh, operates a little bit differently. It's not like an oven where you set a dial. So sometimes I might be smoking at 225. Someone watching my video and trying to duplicate it might be going at 240. So saying it's going to take two hours or two and a half hours really doesn't help you much. You always have to remember you want to cook to temperature and not to time. So that's why a product like this comes in handy because if you're going to invest that kind of time and energy and spend it on some delicious food, you don't want to ruin it by overcooking it or even worse, not cooking it enough at all. So stick around. We're going to open up the box. We're going to take a look at this and I'll give you my honest feedback. Let's get cooking. All right, so here's the package it came in. Very nice. Let's get this, uh, I already kind of sliced it open here so we can see what's inside. So we have a little uh, card here. I guess if you uh, register the product, you can get a free repl replacement probe should one of them become damaged. I don't know if that's a good sign or if that's just good uh, customer service. Need help? Extend your warranty. I did go on their Amazon page to read a little bit up on this, and they have a three-year warranty on this temperature uh, probe. The only thing you have to do is after you get it, you have to go onto their website and register the product. So I'll probably do that a little bit later. Okay, and then let's see here. We got some, uh, looks like instructions. Let's open this up. And even though it's pretty basic, it looks like we got some... Uh, Pretty detailed instructions here, including uh, recommended temperatures for either well done, medium, you know, pork, chicken, fish. So all the normal stuff you would normally get with a with a thermometer. Okay, so let's take a look here. The actual unit itself, okay, looks pretty nice. One thing I noticed that's pretty cool about this is it's got a couple magnets on the back so you could stick it on a stove. I mean, you don't have to use this, obviously, for a barbecue a grill. Let me pull this off. Or a smoker. You could use it, uh, you know, inside your oven as well. Uh, it also has a little fold-out stand here. So if you just wanted to kind of rest it on the counter like that, you could. And it's also got a little spot where if you actually had a, a nail in the wall, you can kind of hang it up to keep it someplace like more permanently. Now since you got the dual probe, one thing that's a nice little feature is it gives you the little uh, holder here that you can attach to your smoker or grill and the probe just goes right through it. That's pretty cool about these dual probes is if you're cooking something you can stick one in the meat and the other one you can keep inside your smoker or grill to maintain the proper temperature just to kind of get a rough idea. And then, last but not least, we got the two probes. Let's pull those out. Now, one thing I noticed right away, these probes look pretty heavy duty. They're nice and long. It's got a nice plastic covering here, and it's got a pretty heavy duty spring here, which looks very nice. It's a little bit more sturdy than my Thermapro, which is the one uh, I've uh, been using and a nice long cable here for plugging it in. It's going to need a couple batteries here, a couple AAA batteries. Right. So I just put some batteries in 
On the back here, on the one side, you have a switch for Celsius and Fahrenheit. Okay, obviously I'm going to put it on Fahrenheit. And then on this side, it's in the off position, there's a timer and a clock. Now from what I understand with the timer, you can do a countdown timer up to 99 minutes. Okay, I'm probably not going to use that. Uh, and then, of course, the cook time is when you click it in and then you're going to actually be taking the temperatures. Now the bottom part is the only part that's touch screen. You can see, you can go up or down on the time, you can set it yourself, probe one, probe two, and this is for either using the presets, which is the top line, you know, chicken, beef, fish, or you can adjust it up or down to put in your own temperature, which is probably what I'll be doing most of the time myself. So let's just plug both these probe, probes in, and let's see what kind of temperatures we're getting, just at room temperature here. And I don't know if you guys can see it. One's reading 70 degrees, one's reading 72. All right, well, we're two degrees off. That's not really a real good sign right off the bat. But you know what? Let me get some cold water, let me get some hot water, and then uh, let me get my uh, regular uh, instant read a Thermapro pen and we'll see how they all compare. All right, so I've been playing around with it for a little bit, you know, and it took around 35 seconds or so. They're both reading exactly 72. Now, it does have a self-lit um, back, which is nice. It's easier to read, but it does shut down after, I think, a 20 or 30 seconds. If you click, you click the bottom port here, it, it lights up again, okay? So you can see over here, they're both uh, reading 72 degrees. So you can click probe one or probe two here, and now you can manually set the temperature. They're both set at 160, as you can see, okay? And then up here, this is where you have well done, beef, medium, rare. You just cycle through here. If you just wanna go with the presets, a burger, looks like pork, chicken, and then manually. Okay, so that's pretty, that's pretty All interesting. Right. So let's just test these probes out and see where we're at. Okay, so over here I have some hot water and over here I have some ice water. So, and let me do, this is what I normally use, my Therma, Therma Pro. It's been uh, pretty accurate for the most part. Let me get this lit up. All right, let's see where we're at. It's set at 160, so there's the alarm. They both went to 184. Well, now one's 185. Back down to 184, 185. One switched to 183. So it looks like they're pretty close. Looks like they're just off by maybe a degree or two, which you know what, to me, is perfectly acceptable. 184, 181. Okay, now let's go into cold water and see how fast we can get a reading. Let me also stick my Thermapro in here as well. All right, so I'm getting 44 and 45 degrees. And it looks like I got 46.2. Forty-six point two is what my Thermapro is reading. Now it's not. Now it's forty-five point seven, and these are at forty-five right now. So they look like they're pretty right on. I mean, it looks like maybe they're off by a degree, which to me, you know what, that's more than sufficient. Most of the time, uh, these won't be bouncing around because you're going to have them stuck in the meat, and they'll have plenty of time to uh, adjust where this is more of a getting an instant reading within you know 10 15 seconds to compare it. Yeah, they're both had, uh, holding steady at 45 degrees and this is uh 43.3 43.9. And and obviously I just put some ice in the water. There might be some parts if I got it closer to a cube that might be a little bit colder than the other. All right, now they're at 44 degrees. So they look like they're pretty evenly matched, and they look like they're pretty right on. Like I said, maybe a degree or two. You know, I just took this out of the package. I'm gonna need a little bit more time and a little bit more experience actually using it, and then I'll have a little bit better understanding 
you know, let you know uh, how I like it. I might do a little follow-up review or mention one of my uh, future cooking videos what I think. Let's go back into the hot water and see how fast All right, 171, 172. Now they're both at 172. And you saw that took around 10 seconds. So they seem to be pretty fast. Now they're down to 171. Now they're at 172. They're both switching at the same time. So you know what? Looks pretty accurate. Let me put this water away. I'll come back. I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, guys. So overall, you know what? 69 degrees, 71. Um, it looks like it's close enough now, 70, 72. One thing I could tell you is the unit itself kind of feels a little flimsy. It kind of, it's plasticky on the back here, as you can see. Uh, you know, it it's, doesn't feel real durable, okay? But I guess the main part is how well these probes are going to hold up. They look like they're much more heavier duty than uh, my other one in my Thermapro, especially with this nice spring. It looks like you got long enough uh, cables here to accommodate you. One thing I wish they had would be a way to keep this backlight on all the time because it goes on, it stays on for 20, 30 seconds, and then it goes off. And when it goes off, unless you're looking right at it, it's really hard to read. So. That would be one of my gripes. The other thing I would say too, as far as you're, if you're going to be using the top line here for the presets, and they do list that here uh, in the directions, they're obviously being very, very conservative, maybe for liability. They obviously don't want anyone getting sick, but like for, you know, uh, rare beef, they're saying 145 degrees. Okay, uh, that's a little bit higher than rare beef in my opinion. 160 for medium and 170 for well done. You know, pork, they're saying 170, which is way high. Uh, chicken, 180. So I think they've probably, you know, 5 to 10 degrees higher uh, on the presets than normal. So I'll probably never use those presets. I'll probably just go straight with my manual setting. So you know what? Uh, uh, the, the main thing is this sells right now on Amazon and I'll leave a link below now they're reading both at 70 for $25.99 and that includes free delivery so uh, one thing I noticed it has over a hundred reviews on the Amazon site and they have a perfect five-star rating which really shocked me because it's very rare even some products that I totally endorse and love and have used. I've gone on Amazon and you know, you, you, sometimes three and a half, four stars. Uh, you always have a lot of people that complain no matter what. So to have over a hundred reviews and still maintain a five star rating and if you go down and read some of the comments that people have left, they're all ver verified purchasers. So it's not just people that are spamming, you know, they're actually people that ordered this, had it shipped to their house and leaving their feedback. So you have to take that into account as well. And for $25, you know, delivered uh, for free to your address, that's a good value. I mean, when you think about it, there's a lot of these uh, probes uh, that you can spend 50 bucks or more, especially a dual temperature probe like this. So, you know what, for the price, and especially if you're just kind of the weekend barbecue guy, uh, you don't want to, you know, invest 50 or more dollars on a more professional unit. You know, 25 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong. Here they're both reading 70 degrees. So, you know what, I'll give you some more, like I said, you know, maybe a video or two down the line. Uh, next time I'm using this, I'll kind of give you my feedback. But so far, I have to say, I would give it my recommendation. Uh, it's not the most sturdy unit that I've ever seen, but I'm very impressed with these probes, the nice long cable, this nice uh, uh, coil here. It looks very heavy duty. It looks like it would be very difficult uh, to damage this. Uh, on their website, it's saying that these probes can handle up to 572 degrees, and they're supposedly waterproof as well, so that's always nice. So, you know what? For $25, I think it's a it's a decent unit to get. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching my video. If you like it, hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.